is making a bold new move in the computer vision arms race. The company has released two breakthrough models that finally solve problems the industry has struggled with for years. These are the new segment anything models, SAM3 and SAM3D. Both are now live on Meta's new segment anything playground and they represent a major leap in computer vision. SAM3 is built for text-based segmentation, and honestly, it feels like something pulled straight out of the future. You can describe what you want to isolate in an image or video, and the model instantly finds it. It can detect, isolate, and track objects with nothing but natural language, then turn them into dynamic and editable media. At the same time, SAM3D can reconstruct entire scenes from images. Meta has created both scene-based and body-based versions, depending on what you need to build. The best part, everything is open source. The weights, the code, and the benchmarks are all on GitHub. That means companies can run it in-house, inspect it, modify it, and integrate it directly into their own pipelines without paying API charges again. Now let's start with SAM3. In the demonstration, a normal video is uploaded, nothing special, and immediately, SAM3 finds every single license plate in the entire clip. Not just one, not just the obvious ones. It detects every instance across the full video. When tracking is enabled, this this is the moment that feels like real magic. The model isolates and segments every license plate as the frames move, and it follows them perfectly. And if you need to segment another object, you can scrub through the video and add a single click. SAM3 handles it with precision that feels unreal. Meta also provides a full set of visual effects you can apply to these segmented objects. You can pixelate license plates, magnify them, center them, or turn them into sketches. Every effect has detailed controls. Scale Scaling, feathering, position adjustments, and more. For video editors, this is the kind of feature that should be inside every editing program. And it's already happening. SAM3 is on its way to edit Instagram's new editing app. Soon creators will apply object-specific effects with almost no effort. But here's the part everyone is sleeping on. Companies today spend huge amounts of money paying humans to label images frame by frame. A single autonomous driving data set can take months, hundreds of annotators, and millions of dollars. Without labeled data, you can't train custom models. Without custom models, you get stuck with generic AI systems that fail in real-world conditions. That is why so many AI pilot projects die before reaching production. SAM3 breaks that cycle. To understand how big this is, look at the evolution. SAM1 could only segment objects after you clicked on them, one object at a time. SAM2 introduced video tracking with memory. It was a huge leap, but you still needed to manually prompt every object. Now SAM3 changes everything with simple text. You type car and it finds all cars in the image or video across thousands of frames instantly. You never touch a single pixel. People often ask, why not just use GPT-5 or Gemini for this? But that's the wrong tool for the job. Large multimodal LLMs are great for reasoning, but they are slow and extremely expensive for industrial scale visual tasks. You pay API costs for every every image. You wait seconds for results. You get inconsistent outputs. And you don't control the infrastructure. SAM3, on the other hand, runs in about 30 milliseconds on a single GPU while segmenting more than 100 objects at once. That's not just faster. That's around 100 times faster. And you own the entire stack. And it's not just speed. SAM3 produces precise pixel level masks. A quick comparison makes this obvious. In a test detecting airplanes, tables, and windows, SAM3 and YOLO World produced results in about the same time. Claude 4.5 Sonnet was the slowest, but in accuracy, SAM3 pulled ahead. It detected every table, every window, and every airplane without missing a single object. Claude 4.5 Sonnet missed all the windows and many tables. YOLO World World also failed to detect windows and missed several tables. SAM3 still achieve perfect segmentation. The real breakthrough though is hidden in Meta's data engine. Meta built an AI and human hybrid annotation system that is five times faster for complex labeling. This allowed them to train SAM3 on four million unique visual concepts, 50 times more than older benchmarks like LVIS. Because of that scale, SAM3 handles almost anything you throw at it. It can perform text-based concept search, interactive refinement through clicks, stable video tracking, and zero-shot detection of new concepts, all while staying consistent and fast. But the 
the model still has limits. When someone tested it on a Scotland versus Denmark football clip, typing Scotland player worked perfectly. It found every Scotland player on the field, but when they typed Denmark player, it missed the goalkeeper because his kit looked completely different. It shows that the model still needs improvements in understanding team concepts beyond just visual similarity. Now let's look at SAM3D. SAM3D can generate a full three-dimensional model of any object shown in an image. It recreates the geometry and the textures from every angle, even the parts the camera doesn't see. It can also reconstruct entire scenes and identify all the objects within them. It is especially good at reconstructing people. It can produce accurate three-dimensional meshes of a person's body shape and pose. It can segment every person in the image, even if they are partially hidden or standing in unusual positions. This unlocks opportunities in robotics, scientific research, virtual try-ons, augmented reality, and even commercial tools like 3D object listings on Facebook Marketplace. How does it work so precisely? SAM 3D body uses an encoder-decoder architecture and supports auxiliary prompts like 2D key points and segmentation masks. It is trained using a multi-stage annotation pipeline supported by Meta's data engine, but many users say that compared to SAM 3D, the Hunyuan 2.1 model from China is even more efficient, and that model came out months ago. One thing that stands out though is Meta's open source strategy. They are releasing model weights, evaluation benchmarks, and research papers for SAM3, and sharing checkpoints and inference code for SAM3D. Meta is betting that giving away the technology will speed up adoption and cement their position in visual AI. Their partnership with Roboflow pushes this even further. Developers can annotate data and fine-tune SAM3 for specific use cases. Meta is essentially crowdsourcing the evolution of the model across robotics, healthcare, sports, and many more industries. These releases also put pressure on Google, Microsoft, and OpenAge. While those companies have focused on large language models, Meta is building dominance in visual AI, a space that will matter more as AR and mixed reality headsets mature. The timing is not random. Apple is pushing its Vision Pro ecosystem, and Google is investing heavily in AR experiences. Meta needs strong, differentiated computer vision systems to power the metaverse. SAM3 and SAM3D provide exactly that. If you're building computer vision applications, SAM3 is a model you must evaluate. The savings and annotation alone can pay for the integration costs within weeks. Once teams experience how much faster and cheaper their entire pipeline becomes, the industry will shift far quicker than people expect, and this unlocks huge opportunities. You could build an app that detects every face in a video and automatically blurs them. You could build a vision assist overlay for future AR glasses that detects road signs and enlarges them for visibility. There are endless ideas once real-time object level segmentation becomes instant. So here's the real question. Will SAM3 become the standard for computer vision, or will Chinese models like Hunyuan 2.1 pull ahead? Share your thoughts below. And if you want the newest updates in AI, robotics, and cutting-edge tech, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want the real story behind the world's fastest-moving AI breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI for daily coverage. Thanks for watching.